Astronomers just found something massive that's sending us a message. Is this the beginning of a new contact? Hi guys, welcome to Beyond Unknown. Today we will take a look at a mysterious message we received from outer space. Make sure to stick to the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. Space scientists have detected a weird radio burst with a pattern similar to a heartbeat. The lines of active investigation include theoretical and observational aspects of these enigmatic millisecond radio signals. These pursuits are for the most part intertwined so that each keeps the other in check, characteristic of the healthy state of the field. The immediate future for FRB science is full of promise. We will be in a better position to make a clear statement after a few years as the astronauts will research further and observe the FRB in detail. At the moment, we see two orders of magnitude, more FRBs discovered by the now diverse group of instruments spread across the globe involved in these efforts. Although the precise location and reason for the burst are unknown, astronomers believe the signal originated from a galaxy about a billion light years away. A study outlining the conclusions was released in the journal since the first FRB was discovered in 2007. Hundreds of these brief cosmic flashes have been found to originate from numerous far-off locations throughout the universe. Many FRBs discharge super-illuminated radio waves, enduring only a few milliseconds at most before fading completely, and about 10% of them have been known to repeat and have patterns. Fast radio bursts are challenging to observe because they occur so quickly and unexpectedly. When were fast radio bursts discovered? Duncan Lorimer discovered FRBs in 2007, and that's why they were given the name Lorimer Bursts. A small number of similar events have since been discovered in data gathered by radio telescopes all over the world, adding to the body of evidence pointing to a variety of possible causes. Only a handful of emissions have been traced to specific areas of the sky, most indicating sources in other galaxies. Again in 2020, a source within the Milky Way, most probably belonging to a type of neutron star called a magnetar, was approved to be a fast radio burst emitter. Even though it is far away, the radio wave flash is incredibly bright and is on par with the energy that is released in a few milliseconds by hundreds of millions of suns. Due to their extreme density, magnetars and pulsars are likely to be the culprits in this intensity, which suggests that strong objects like black holes and neutron stars may be at play. The events were once thought to be transient because they appear to occur only once and showed no telltale indications of recurring emission. Astronomers didn't discover any proof of multiple bursts coming from the same source until 2016. Since then, a number of repeaters have been discovered, and some scientists have speculated that many, if not all, FRB sources may routinely emit bursts in sequences that are too complex for current instruments to detect. The discovery in 2020 that an FRB observed three years earlier had since faintly repeated on two more recent occasions provided evidence in support of this hypothesis. Soon after the compilation of this report, astronomers with the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment Collaboration printed findings of the first FRB, which was repeated in a distinctive pattern. The FRB has a predictable pattern of hourly activity over the course of four days, followed by 12 days of quiet. With much still to learn about FRBs, their mechanism and physical attributes are one of the biggest mysteries in contemporary astronomy. The sound appeared as if the heart is beating. The radio signal's pattern, which burst in a periodic pattern resembling a beating heart and repeating every 0.2 seconds, was even stranger. Known as FRB 20191221A, its precise origin is anonymous, but scientists think it may have come from either a magnetar or a radio pulsar. Danielle Mashili illustrated, There are not many things in the universe that emit strictly periodic signals. Examples that we know of in our galaxy are radio pulsars and magnetars, which rotate and produce a beamed emission similar to a lighthouse, and we think this new signal could be a magnetar or pulsar on steroids. They notice similarities between the signal pattern and emissions from radio pulsars and magnetars in our galaxy. While magnetars also produce similar emissions as a result of their strong magnetic fields, radio pulsars emit beams of radio waves that seem to pulse as the neutron star spins. Why is the discovery so significant? The discovery is very important as it leads to more and more truths to be unfolded. When the burst happened, Michili was keeping an eye on the data as it was being received from CHIME. The signal is the most protracted fast radio burst ever recorded. 
It was unusual, Danielle Mashili, a postdoctoral researcher at the Massachusetts Institute of Technologies, Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space, affirmed. Not only was it very long, lasting about three seconds, but there were periodic peaks that were remarkably precise, emitting every fraction of a second, boom, 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 like a heartbeat. This is the first time the signal itself is periodic. FRBs come from an unknown source. At the moment, the research team does not have any clue about the galaxy from which the burst was initiated. Even the distance estimate of a billion light years is highly uncertain, Michele stated. While CHIME is primed to search for bursts of radio waves, it's not as promising at locating their origin points. However, CHIME is being upgraded through a project where more telescopes, presently under construction, will observe together and be able to triangulate radio bursts to specific galaxies, he further added. However, the signal does not have any clues about where it came from and what they may have caused it and will continue to burst. CHIME has now detected many FRBs with different properties, Michele said. We've seen some that live inside very turbulent clouds, while others look like they're in clean environments. From the properties of this new signal, we can say that around this source, there's a cloud of plasma that must be extremely turbulent. The signal from FRB 20191221A, or the dense remnants left behind after a giant star dies, was compared to emissions from two dissimilar kinds of radio pulsars and magnetars, which are neutron stars. What are magnetars? Can they be a threat to black holes? It is crucial to understand that radio pulsars are neutron stars that emit radio waves that seem to pulse as they rotate, whereas magnetars are neutron stars with incredibly strong magnetic fields. Both stellar bodies produce a signal that resembles a lighthouse's flashing beam. The fast radio burst appears to be more than a million times brighter than these emissions. We think this new signal could be a magnetar or pulsar on steroids, Michele informed the media. Magnetars are extremely powerful, but they could not defeat a black hole. The magnetic monster would either be consumed completely or slowly, piece by piece, depending on the magnetar's rotation and the size and mass of both the magnetar and the black hole. Apart from these ultra-powerful magnetic fields, magnetars also emit extensive amounts of energy in the form of flares, X-rays, and gamma-ray bursts. They are hence associated with intense events in the universe, making them perhaps the most peculiar entities in the cosmos next to black holes. The black hole's destruction of the magnetar would cause the curvature of space-time to be disturbed as gravitational waves were sent out into the entire universe. The magnetar would cause the black hole's mass to rise and its event horizon to widen once it had absorbed it. More and more stars would be thrown into the dark density as a result of this expansion. The discovery helps us embark on our journey into space. Researchers hope to detect more signals from the source and explore using it as an astrophysical clock. Moreover, data derived from the source like the frequency of bursts and how they change as the source moves away from the Earth can also allow measuring the rate of the expansion of the universe. Astronomers are going to focus on studying FRB 190520 using a host of different telescopes around the world. By studying the FRB, its galaxy and the space environment surrounding its source, hopefully, they are hoping to find answers to many of the mysteries. More answers will come from other FRB discoveries in the coming years. The more FRBs astronomers catalog, the greater the chances of discovering FRBs with interesting properties that can help complete the puzzle of these fascinating astronomical phenomena. The field of FRB science is currently thriving and growing rapidly. The lines of active investigation include theoretical and observational aspects of these enigmatic millisecond radio signals. The pursuits are for the most part intertwined so that it each keeps the other in check, characteristic of the healthy state of the field. The immediate future for FRB science is full of promises. Those throbbing entities in space are so enigmatic and mystic that they have captured the attention of many space scientists to explore more about them. Let's see what the future holds for us. Please leave a comment down below your own thoughts and don't forget to like today's video and subscribe to the channel if you want to watch similar content. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.